I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, will you call the roll, please? Yes. Alderman Edwards? Alderman Simpson. Here. Alderman Turner. Here. Alderman Lesko. Here. Alderman Canman. Here. Alderman Joe. Here. Alderman McMiniman. Here. Alderman Tylen. Here. Alderman Dove. Here. Alderman Griffin. Mayor Houston. Okay, we have one proclamation. Alderman Tylen, will you join me, please? Mr. Fallon Thornton, would you like to come up? He's on vacation. From what I was. Whereas Talon Thornton's leadership of the Henson Robinson Zoo has recently come to the end following more than 26 years of employment with the zoo and the Springfield Park District, and whereas initially hired in the spring of 1987, Thornton quickly made his way up the chain of leadership, taking the position of assistant zoo director just one year later than being named the zoo director in the fall of 1995. And whereas during Thornton's 18 years at the helm, <coughs> The face of the zoo changed dramatically with the removal of antiquated animal enclosures and the construction of many new exhibits. And whereas Thornton was instrumental in securing funds for the many improvements, was closely involved with the details and design and the implementation of exhibits that brought many new species of animals to the zoo. And whereas many events such as Zooly Gooly and Holiday Lights at the Zoo and the resulting increases in zoo's attendance can also be attributed to Thornton, and whereas Thornton's enthusiasm and passion for animals and their conservation has been inspirational to many. Now, therefore, Michael J. Houston, Mayor of the City of Springfield, to hereby proclaim August 1st, 2013, to be Talon Thornton Day in Springfield. I would like to say a couple things. Um, I requested to recognize Talon for the job that he has done. Um, my family and I attended the zoo when I was young, and now that I have small children, Talon has been a fixture in my kids' lives for the last six years. Every time they go there, they see him. They're happy to see him and Jackie. It is just amazing what he has done in just the last six years since I started going back through there as a parent again. He has made one of the most fabulous small children, toddler zoos in the area. And if there's anyone who has not come back to the zoo to see it, please come see the masterpiece that this man has created. Yes. Um, well, first off, I would like to thank, most of all, Chris for recommending this, um, Alderman Lesko. Uh, all of the Alderman, Mayor Houston, uh, for bestowing this great uh, honor on me. Um, I am, uh, like Frank said, I've been at the zoo for almost 30 years, uh, and it is truly a treasure uh, that we have in the city of Springfield. Um, I have truly, truly uh, enjoyed my time uh, serving the city of Springfield and our surrounding community uh, in reaching out to the kids, the families, uh, everyone that has, has been there and it has made really the zoo what it is. And thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the chair will entertain a motion to incorporate the pre-council first reading of the ordinances into the record of this city council meeting. So moved. Second. Move second. Discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. Thank you. The chair will entertain a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the September 3rd, 2013 city council meeting and approve the minutes. So moved. Second. Move and second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Oh. Alderman, or Mayor Pro Tem, that should be September 17th, not September 3rd. Okay. Let's read it again into the record. The chair will entertain 
a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the September 17, 2013 City Council meeting and approve the minutes. So moved. Second. We have movement and second. A discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Motion carries. The next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. The chair will entertain a motion to incorporate the pre-council reading of the consent agenda into the record of the city council meeting. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. The motion carries. The chair will entertain a motion to remove agenda number 2013-368 from the consent agenda and place it on the debate agenda for purposes of an amendment. So moved. Second. We've got a movement and second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. The ayes have it. The chair will entertain a motion to place the consent agenda with the exceptions of 213 366 and 213 368 on final passage. Uh, point of clarification we didn't have a motion to move 2013 366 off the consent agenda, did we? No, we did not. No. No. No, we did not. Mm -hmm. All right, the chair will entertain a motion to place the consent agenda with the exception of 2013 368 on final passage. So moved. Second. We have moved uh, and second. Mr. In Mayor, um, I'd like to also um, exclude 2013 366 from the consent agenda and place it on the debate agenda. I believe no vote is needed for that request. All right. So it goes to the debate agenda. All right. On final passage, uh, we have a motion in a second for 368. No, you want to make the... Yeah, we're voting on the consent agenda. Place the consent agenda with the exceptions of 366 now and 366. Okay. With the exception of 2013-368 and 213-366. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. And a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion say yes. Aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Well, don't we have to do a roll call? We have a vote. Okay. All right. All those in favor of the motion vote yes. All those opposed vote no. Yes. Error, vote not updated. I think you could be both. Drag. I think I just clicked down. I can. Everybody? Yeah. Registered? Joe's got the same thing. No, mine says the same thing. I can't see. Mm -hmm. Error, vote not updated. <clears throat> Am I able to vote from here? No. Yes, you are. You You're logged vote. in as you. And yeah, mine's not working either. Okay. Do you want to do a roll system. call? Yes, I can do that. Madam Chair, roll call, please. Sign out. Yeah. Madam, Chair. <laughs> Madam Chair. Madam Clerk. Yes. Okay. Uh, Alderman Simpson? Yes. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Kamen? Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMiniman? Yes. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Dove? Yes. That's it. 8 0. Passes. All right. Thank you. Agendas number 2011 2012-123, 2012-126, 2012-326, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2012-376, 2
No. <laughs> My apologies. I don't know what the issue is. Madam Clerk, Alderman, would you like to take a roll? Yes. Alderman Simpson? Yes. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Canman? Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMiniman? Yes. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Dove? Yes. 8 0 passes. Okay. The next item on the agenda is number 2013 362, an, ordin an ordinance authorizing the execution of a settlement agreement and the general release regarding Illinois Department of Human Rights Commission case ALS 09 0718, charge 2009 SF 00087, and EEOC BA 82496. <clears throat> Robert Horton versus City of Springfield from the Office of Public Works. The chair will entertain a motion to place agenda number 213-362 on final passage. So moved. Second. We have move and second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, vote yes. All those opposed, vote I'll no. I'll go ahead and just do a roll call. You just want to do yeah. a roll? Alderman Simpson? Yes. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Canman? Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMiniman? Yes. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Doug? Yes. 8-0. The next item on the agenda is number 2013-366, an ordinance authorizing a supplemental appropriation in the amount of $2 million from unbudgeted, unappropriated fund balance to be used for drainage and alley maintenance for the Office of Budget and Management. The chair will entertain a motion to place agenda number 2013-366 on final passage. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? A discussion. Uh, Last week, we, I brought up the possibility of amending this uh, ordinance with the idea of drawing attention to the equally important problem of our underfunded pension funds. Realistically, after talking with council members, I don't think there's support for that kind of an amendment to reduce the spending of this particular uh, proposal for infrastructure. But. I would like to ask the council to hold this in committee for a separate uh, reason. As you know, this, is, this money here is, was unbudgeted money. It was money that was not discussed during the budgeting process. So $2 million has uh, been found, so to speak, in the uh, Fund 95. And so the question is, uh, we need an accounting of uh, Fund 95. now. Um, it's possible that Mr. McCarty, our budget director, will give that accounting right here tonight, but there's a need to study what he, the information he provides to us. $2 million is a, is a significant amount of money in Fund 95, and we know, we should know what the start, starting balance was for Fund 95, which is a fund devoted to infrastructure at the start of the fiscal year, and what we anticipated to be at the end of the fiscal year, and what the revenue streams were to be going into that. Uh, fund 95. We've got uh, this council has over the course of the last several years has dedicated several uh, new tax monies into that fund 95. Those include the hotel motel tax monies, the uh, <coughs> quarter of a percent sales uh, sales tax monies, and the video gaming uh, monies. And so, if the answer is that. The, uh, the, the balance is growing in that fund beyond expectations. That goes back to the premise that was behind the vote to increase our sales tax by a half, a half a penny. So I think there needs to be an examination of Fund 95 and uh, how we miscalculate. Why did we not uh, budget $2 million back in February that is now uh, before us to be budgeted at this point in time? And I hope it was not that, you know, back then, if you recall, we were told that we have all these infrastructure needs and we have inadequate funding for infrastructure needs. Now halfway into the fiscal year, we discovered $2 million that were, was not talked about back in February. And in the meanwhile, we've increased the taxes on our citizens. Those taxes, the half a, half a penny sales tax will begin next calendar year in 2014, but we've approved the increase in the sales tax. So again, uh, I would like to make a motion to um, hold this ordinance in committee until we have a, an accounting of Fund 95 monies that are dedicated for infrastructure. Mr. Tyler. Um, I see Director McCarty's not here, but 
I'm sure that uh, she'll be able to handle the question. When I talked to Director McCarty last week, the understanding that I had was that this is just where all the money, all the revenue comes in, and that it has to be reallocated out to the different funds in order to be spent. And that this is not necessarily new money or unplanned money. This is just the ordinance to move the money from the general pot where everything comes in over to the Public Works Department for them to be able to use it on planned projects that were already budgeted. I interject. Yeah. Sure. If we can take a step back and, and let's just review. We do have some 40 active funds, and it's easy for us to get confused in budget management, but we'll talk about Fund 95 and its aggregate. There are two parts to Fund 95. The original Fund 95, the Capital Improvement Fund, which was born of a 1994 ordinance that is funded through a 2% transfer of corporate fund revenues every year. Then there's the part of Fund 95 that the council recently created new revenue streams to aggressively fund infrastructure through hotel motel tax, sales tax, and most recently video gaming. If you look online today, I believe since August 30th, you'll see the ending audit position, which is essentially a cash position for Fund 95 and its aggregate. Those two sections of the fund that deal with infrastructure fin finish the year at about 5.7, 5.8 million. In our FY 2014 appropriation ordinance, we also projected 4.5 million in sales tax <coughs> and a little over 1 million in hotel motel tax. I cannot speak to the policy of budgeting for public works, but I can speak to those beginning revenues and our projected revenues. One of the difficulties with new revenue streams is that you need to be prudent until you get a good trend on those revenues and how they perform. We budgeted seven million dollars in expenses for fiscal year 14 and at this time the Public Works Department is requesting another two million. When budgeting capital funds as a whole the difficulty <coughs> is there are external forces that can control the timing of those expenditures. And again, I can yield to Director Mahoney. Construction seasons, is a short season, a long season? Do you have to roll projects forward because of difficulties in weather, because of delays? But right now, as it stands, um, we can provide the audited accounting for fiscal year 13 for Fund 95, and then we have the appropriation ordinance, the local law, that gives the expected revenue and current expenses. So when we take our 5.8 in beginning revenues as a result of the end of fiscal year 13, and we add our expenses and our roll, and our roll over forward from both the sidewalk program and the overlay program, we are forecasting a 4.3 position, 4.3 million position in fiscal year 14. And that is the feeling that Director Cardi and Director Mahoney felt that this two million was doable, still leaving a healthy fund balance for the infrastructure portion of Fund 95. Thank you. Mr. Cannon? You know, thank you, Mayor Lesko. Uh, th this isn't really, I wouldn't call it new money. Or, it, this money is dedicated by ordinance. All this money is dedicated to infrastructure uh, work. We can't spend it on anything else unless we want to change uh, change the ordinances. This Public Works Department, as I understand it, when the year began, they had anticipated they would spend $7 million uh, from Fund 95 on uh, work. It's now, they've now come to the point where they are, have the ability to spend this additional $2 million on very needed projects on uh, drainage maintenance and alley maintenance. The money can only be spent on infrastructure. The work needs to be done. I see no reason, and I see no reason to delay this work. Uh, in fact, one of the projects happens to be on Virginia Street uh, in Ward 5, and one of the gentlemen, the people on that street have been clamoring for, uh, to have the drainage uh, repaired on that street for, for months. And one of the gentlemen who was the leader of that group, Barry Griffith, is here in the audience today along with one of his neighbors. and. Uh, uh, they certainly do not want to have a delay of 
even one day, let alone three weeks, if we wait until the next council meeting to uh, deal with this. So I, I think uh, this is this is what the money is supposed to be for. It's there. If this public works department can do the work, which needs to be done, it ought to be done. There's no reason. I mean, we've delayed these projects long enough, and uh, there's no reason why they should be delayed any further. Alderman Turner. Um, I agree with Alderman uh, Cam, and I think that all of us talked during the budgeting season about the need for these projects and the need to identify funding for the projects. We, when we passed the um, quarter percent sales tax, when we okay the video gaming, we said that all of that money would go for infrastructure, and I think that our constituencies relied on our goodwill and when they supported both of those, that this money would go for in infrastructure. I think that there's no doubt that there are significant infrastructure needs throughout the entire city, not just in the older areas of the city. And I will tell you that these problems are not just cosmetic problems, they are definitely public health and safety problems. I don't see any, we've heard from uh, Budget Director McCarty, we've heard tonight from his office, and we, there's nothing that tells us that there is any impropriety going on with this fund. There's nothing that tells us that the money is not there. So I don't see any reason not to move forward with voting on this ordinance and getting this work done in a most expeditious manner. I think that we should be proud of the fact that we are in a healthy fiscal position that we can dedicate an additional amount of money. So instead of holding back and finding uh, some reason not to do that, I think that you know we should be excited about the fact that we can dedicate an additional $2 million, which will go a long way to getting some of these significant public health and safety <coughs> issues corrected. Thank you, Alderman. Alder Alderman McMinima, um, your, your motion um, is out of order because there's a motion on the floor right now for uh, passage. So unless the person who, uh, which is Alderman Simpson, who made the motion would allow you to uh, to make the motion to, to uh, keep it in committee, then well, let me, we'll let go me, to a vote. Uh, Mr. Mayor, can I uh, redirect discussion then to the, uh, the motion itself then of passage? Yes. Uh, I understand what uh, Alderman Turner said, and I, I agree with that. We're all excited to uh, make improvements in our respective wards and throughout the city, and I think there's a quarter of a million of spend, proposed spending that would take place in Ward 7 under this uh, um, proposed ordinance. Uh, but I want to go back to the comments we just heard from uh, uh, Ms. Zograb of Budget. Zogard. Um, it was pointed out to us that the opening balance of the Fund 95 was 5.7 million. That was the opening balance at the start of the fiscal year. And we're going to uh, propose to spend an additional 2 million beyond what we budgeted at the start of the fiscal year, which was 7 million, as I understand <coughs> it. And we're going to end the fiscal year with 4.3 million. So I think there's some lines of questions here. If, if, if this is all dedicated money that's in Fund 95 for capital and infrastructure, and we all recognize there's all these needs out there, why wasn't the full 5.7 million budgeted going into this fiscal year on top of the expected, expected revenue streams? And, and why didn't we catch that at the, at the budget session? If we all recognize all this infrastructure spending needs to take place, but at the same time, we're told uh, during the budget session that, hey, we don't have enough money for infrastructure. Better pass a sales tax increase. So from my point of view, it, it just strikes me as, as additional bad faith and, uh, again, false pretenses. Why wouldn't we spend that money down as far as we can uh, within reason? <clears throat> Alderman Joe. Well, first off, I want to I want to commend a couple of departments. First, the Public Works Department for bringing this uh, ordinance forward. As Alderman Cameron pointed out, we have a human face right here in the front row tonight, a human face that shows that uh, this is about quality of life. Um, 
and problems that are happening all throughout the city. So, you know, I want to commend uh, Director Mahoney for bringing this forward because we can act on this this construction season. We know there are hundreds of millions of dollars in infrastructure improvements that are needed throughout the capital city, and many of us on the city council realize that and address that going forward starting in January, but we see that we have the opportunity here to uh, fix many alleys that are problems, many drainage areas that are problems that we've kicked the can for so many years, and the longer we kick it, the higher the price tag is going to be. And I want to commend our, our budget department, uh, Director McCarty and his team, because you know what, we, they're going to leave some money in there, and it's going to, uh, they see, they believe that Director Mahoney knows what he's doing, and the mayor does as well. So I think we should approve this and stop mixing, not comparing apples to apples. And I want, I, you know, look, I want to commend uh, Alderman McMenamin. He's very passionate about uh, pension reform, and I think that's for another day because we were talking about infrastructure tonight. And if he wants to bring some ordinances to address pension reform, uh, we should do that at a given time, not tonight. Alderman Simpson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Um, years ago, several years ago, before this current council was in place, um, $38 million was the figure that we needed to, to come up with each year, $38 million each year, <clears throat> in order to deal with current infrastructure issues and old infrastructure issues. $7 million, $2 million, it's not going to even come close to what we need and what we should be doing uh, for, <clears throat> well, let me go back. I think it confuses people when Statements are made that we ought to build up Fund 95 uh, before we do anything. Um, when we've all we've all said we've we've said that the studies have been done that we need 30 some million dollars a year just to deal with 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 some of our issues. And you know, I, I don't know whether you have infrastructure issues in Ward 7. I get calls every day. People asking me, why can't something be done? Why do I have to wade in water? Why do I, uh, you know, why, why are the streets the way they are? Um, and I am at a point where I, I'm really getting tired of calling Director Mahoney and asking him, what is he going to do? When is he going to do it? This will, will, will not solve the problem, but it will certainly put a dent in the problem. And the time is now to spend this money, uh, and I think we should not continue to debate this issue. We should go ahead and vote. Any more discussion? Uh, just a final matter. I'm going to make a, a protest no vote uh, for the reason that we have to address both the infrastructure needs and our ballooning debt problem simultaneously and uh, we've had a history of 20 years of saying let's address pensions next year just kind of like the way Corey Job was saying it just now we'll, we'll get to that soon enough but but let's not interfere with what we're doing right now and I think that's the wrong approach and it's got to stop we've got to address this pension problem and so we can't do one to the exclusion of the other so that's going to be a protest vote on my part any other discussion uh, Alderman Turner I just I just want to make a point of clarification because I don't want anyone to misunderstand or confuse this issue. I don't think that anyone is saying that the, there is not a pension issue and that needs to be addressed. However, keep in mind, this is money that is dedicated for infrastructure and cannot be used in any way to even begin to address the pension issue. So, the, it, one does not compensate for the other. I, can, I do not have it in my power to take any money out of this dedicated fund to address the pension issue. So while we're voting on this right now to address infrastructure, it's not at the expense of pensions. That's just not, right. it cannot be addressed with this money. And I, and I think that 
we do our, our constituencies a disservice if we ever even leave that hanging out there so that people misunderstand. Well, Mr. Mayor, let me answer that because I agree we shouldn't leave that hanging out there. When I say that we do this at the expense of pensions, here's what I mean. When we de dedicate this tax source for infrastructure, this tax source for infrastructure, that tax source, and, and obligate the, the new half a percent for sales tax, uh, and, and we're going to bond out that half a penny of sales tax, we are putting this city council and our budget process in a straitjacket because we reduce the flexibility of how we might finance infrastructure going forward. So that's how they're very much connected. So I disagree I, entirely with the statements you just made, Alderman Turner. But I believe that the vote to dedicate that half a, a quarter percent for, for infrastructure was a unanimous vote. No, it was a 6-4 vote, uh, Alderman Turner. I was pretty, so... Edward was a no, I was a no, um, Alderman Lesko was a no, and Alderman Dove was a no. It passed, though. But it passed. It, but it passed. But you, you, your statement is incorrect. It was not a unanimous okay. vote. So you, don't want any, so you don't want any funding to go to, to address any infrastructure needs no, in, your, in your ward? that's so, not a correct statement. So if, if Director Mahoney is listening, the money that Alderman McMiniman does not want to address infrastructure needs in his ward, uh, I will gladly take it. Let's, let's <laughs> deal with what's on hand. Yeah, point of order here. Okay. <clears throat> we have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? on this item. All those in favor? I'll take a roll call. Well, let's take a roll call vote. Alderman okay. Simpson? Yes. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Canman? Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMiniman? Protest no vote. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Dove? Yes. 7-1. So the motion carries. Does the record reflect a protest no vote or just no? <laughs> The next item on the agenda is number 2013-368, an ordinance authorizing a supplemental appropriation in the amount of $553,000 from unbudgeted, unappropriated fund balance to be used for the Northeast TIF Redevelopment Project Fund for the Office of Budget and Management. The chair will entertain a motion to place the agenda number 2013-368 on final passage. So moved. Second. There's movement and second. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to amend agenda number 2013-368. So moved. Second. second. Movement and second. Discussion on the proposed amendment. I have a question. The, it seems like the main purpose of this amendment is to change the amount from 553000 to 553300 It is. But is there any, there's a lot of other changes, additions, and clarification. So, yeah, it could clarify. We, we, when I looked it over, I thought it needed to have a little more clarifying language, and we found a $300 error in the map. Okay, so that's all it is. Nothing it's, more. Not to, it's not intended to make any substantive no. change other than the extra 300 no. Okay, thanks. All right, any other discussion on the amendment? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Discussion on the ordinance as amended. <laughs> all, all those in favor for the ordinance, we're going to do another roll call vote. Alderman Simpson? Aye. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Canman? Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMinniman? Yes. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Dove? Yes. Eight zero. Motion carries. The next item on the agenda is 2013-374, an ordinance temporarily lifting the moratorium authorized by ordinance 276-0813 in order to process a building permit application for a boat dock at 212 East Lake Drive for emergency passage. The chair will entertain a motion to place agenda number 2013-374 on emergency passage. So Second. We have a moment and second. The chair will entertain a motion to... I was going to ask, since the two emergency passage ordinances are both about the same thing, can we just... We, got we need to amend it first. To be amended. First one, no, just the first, first one okay. needs to be amended. But we, we could do an omnibus vote for the two of them? Yeah, after that. After, after the, amendment. the amendment? Yeah, they're the, for okay. the same issue, Frank. That's what we wanted. We've got like, yeah, boom. So we got the wrong address on one, but we got it correct. Okay. okay, the chair will entertain a motion to amend agenda number 2013-374. So moved. Second. Okay. Moved and second. Uh, discussion on the proposed amendment. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. <coughs> Discussion on the ordinance as amended. Yes. Yes. Alderman Joe. Yes. So I, I, I've had a lot of calls from builders who are doing projects at the lake, and I know that Alderman Edwards put this moratorium 
out there obviously to address a major concern. But is is it his intent to bring back some new language that would clarify <laughs> things at the lake? Because I'm getting out of my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Another question. But until that time, anybody that wants to get a permit for a boat dock, where is going to have to be approved by the city council? Is that mm -hmm. for sure. correct? Do you have any idea when uh, the proposed legislation will be coming to us? Working on it with the homeowner association I see. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the ordinance? All those in favor say aye. 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 Are you going to take a roll call vote? Hi. Yes, I'll take a roll call vote. Yeah. Alderman right. Simpson? Separate. Yes. Yeah. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Canman? Right. Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMiniman? Yes. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Dove? Yes. 8 0. All right, the next item on the agenda is number 2013 375, an ordinance temporarily lifting the moratorium authorized by ordinance 276 08 13 in order to process a building permit application for a boat dock at 41 Hawthorne Lane. For emergency passage, the chair will entertain a motion to place agenda number 2013 375 on emergency passage. So moved. Second. Moved and second. In discussion. All those in favor of the motion, vote yes. Alderman Simpson? Yes. Alderman Turner? Yes. Alderman Lesko? Yes. Alderman Canman? Yes. Alderman Joe? Yes. Alderman McMiniman? Yes. Alderman Tylen? Yes. Alderman Dow? Yes. Motion carries. The chair will entertain a motion to suspend the rules and place on first reading agenda number 2013-395, an ordinance authorizing execution of an agreement between the City of Springfield and for legal services related to general obligation bond issuances in the amount to be determined by the next committee meeting. So moved. Is there a second? Mr. Second. Mayor. A motion and a second. Any discussion? It looks like this is a, a shell bill, meaning we don't know who the legal services firm right. will be. We're in the process of working with Director uh, McCarty and uh, uh, talking to the bond council and trying to get things organized. And it's supposed to have it soon, but we wanted to get this in front of you so that you all know it's coming. And that's the purpose of it. So we, then when it comes up to the committee, we should have who we, who we suggest and how much. We're and looking at some council firms that may have done business in the past with us. Maybe make it go less. Alderman Cannon. And the, the, these are the bonds that are going to be that are to fund the 86 or $87 million infrastructure program and that are going to be paid for with the half cent increase in the sales tax. Correct. Correct. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries. Is there any business to come before the city council? Yes. <clears throat> uh, this is old business, right? Yeah, it's, it's all real old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, rather disturbing, too. Uh, the Human Resource Department provides um, a city staffing report to us. I'm not sure the frequency. Uh, but I have some concerns. The mayor's office uh, indicates that, you know, he's got this diversity plan, um, but I don't see any real change in numbers. There are 1,478 total employees. Of that, 7.98% are African American, 0.54% are uh, Hispanic, and 0.20% are Asian, which means that 91.41% of the employees in the city of Springfield are Caucasian. Now, if I'm a Caucasian, that, that's not a problem. However, the city is made up of more than just Caucasians. Um, and many of my friends are Caucasian. There are 177 Caucasian supervisors, managers, there are eight African-American managers, supervisors. Those numbers are unacceptable, and they should be unacceptable for anybody in this room. Um, there have been a, a number of opportunities to hire because we get these uh, reports also from human resources. Uh, and 
I don't understand why there are not more minorities hired. I don't understand why there are not more uh, African American managers and supervisors. There are none at CWOP. Um, there are the numbers are dismal, and they've got to change. I wish the mayor were here, and because he's not, I will be making this statement again the next time I see him in council. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Any other old business? <clears throat> Is there any new business to come before the city council? Alderman Dev. I just have one thing. I was uh, contacted today by uh, one of the aldermen's better halves to um, call him out uh, uh, as being over the hill. Um, Tylen turned 40 on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And yes, I did have to wear the pointy hat when we went out to eat. <laughs> well, congratulations. Happy birthday. Welcome to the big league. Any other new business to come before City Council? I'd like to discuss this letter that we all received tonight okay. um, from the Illinois Primary Health Care Association <clears throat> concerning the uh, property at 918 East Edwards. Um, they bring up some valid concerns here that I would like to ask uh, Director Mahoney to address. I'll be happy to give you my copy of the letter. But things that are brought up in this letter include that um, there was a demolition begun and that there are weeds, overgrown weeds, huge piles of partially raised buildings, um, possible infestation of rats and other pests, uh, legal dumping, um, children accessing the site, which is dangerous, um, health concerns about the dust blowing around because they thought the building might have needed asbestos remediation. Uh, there are a number of things in this that definitely get my attention. And I'm hoping that, uh, I'm not looking for an answer today, but I'm wanting to get this on your radar and get you a copy of what we've received so that you can address it. Yeah, and uh, I will tell you that, that we are in the legal process with that uh, right now, but I will give you an update. I haven't seen that letter. Yeah. You're welcome to take it. Thank you. Any other new business? We have one person who has previously signed up to speak. Is Leonard Hubbard in the audience? Please state your name and address, sir, and you will be given five minutes for your remarks. My name is Leonard F. Hubbard, Jr. I live at 1612 East Cook. And uh, my problem is uh, there's a house at 1627 East Lawrence. It's been vacant for two over two and a half years. Trees growing around it. I go up and down the alley. Other people does does too. That should have been looked in a long time ago. Anyway, I came up here, and they uh, they said somebody looked into it. Okay, so I said that the day I went down to the garage, the guy acted like he didn't know that what I was talking about. I said, well, where can I talk to somebody? He said, well, he'd look at it. look 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 at it. Well, it took it still had five weeks, and he has it. Now, you're talking about alleys. And you have, you have, what is it? You have uh, people not accountable for what they're supposed to be doing. That's a shame. Nobody looked into nothing. That house has got uh, uh, stink trees growing all around it. Now, something should be done. And another thing, uh, I, I'm through with that right now. But right now, the mayor's not here. But I noticed him in the paper one day, he said something about six miles out of the city limit he can hire. That is what the people voted for. Now, you're tampering with people's vote. He's not here right now, but I know all of you disgusted that. And, you, and you're tampering with people's vote. Uh, and, and all these no people in the job here in Springfield, get the people to work here. It doesn't make sense. If that's the way you folks want it, it's sad. That's all I have to say. And it's a disgrace for United States. I keep hearing about how great the United States is, greatest nation, and they are. It is. But it's disgusting how it, they treat people. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You the chair will entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. second. A motion second. We stand adjourned. Thank you.